Deep in the hills of Southern California lies the tiny city Temecula, an athletic factory. The latest in the assembly line of great players to come from football powerhouse Vista Marietta High School is Kyle Williams. He is listed as an athlete, but what does that really mean? An athlete would be defined about how many things you can do and provide and help a team to be successful. In the game of football, Kyle's willing to play any position on the field. Uh, last year, I mean, he's a wide receiver DB by trait. However, last year we had a, ran out of quarterbacks. He had some quarterback injuries. He played quarterback for us. Uh, he'll return punts. If you lined him up and played guard, he'd play guard. He doesn't really matter what uh, Kyle plays. He just wants to play. Out of all positions, I've played safety before. I played quarterback. I played running back, uh, receiver. I haven't dabbed in really uh, corner yet, but you know maybe that's in my feature a little bit. Adapting to different positions has come pretty naturally for Williams, who had 2,363 all-purpose yards last season and was his league MVP. The Broncos, under his guidance, went 12-2 and and made their divisional final, but it was a certain position that helped him progress more than any other. Playing quarterback, you have to know what everyone wants, where they want it, how they want it, when they want it, so it's kind of like, like that. There is much more to Williams than just his over-the-top athleticism. He has a 3.5 GPA and also has a wicked sense of humor. Uh, he's a jokester. He's fun, or at least he thinks he's funny. Nah, he's always telling jokes. He's, he's a good student too, though. He, uh, he's got a nice balance between funny and school, and he makes it work. Off the field, he is, you can have a conversation for hours of just any conversation you want. He's very educated, he's very uh, socially smart. He's just a down-to-earth great kid. Williams didn't get this far on his own. He had help from his mom and dad molding him into the athlete person he is today. He's kind of in the sense a trophy dad, you know. He really put me through some really rigorous training when I was a little kid, you know. Um, days and nights, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, just all that kind of stuff. And, you know, it's just my mom has really always been that kind of soft, that soft spot, and that kind of soft spot, the kind of one I can put my head on and tell her my woes and stuff like that. And that just kind of helps me out because um, you always need like a mother figure with you. and to help you and kind of calm down your nerves when dad has y'all worked up. With four years under his belt as a high school athlete, Williams has benefited a great deal from the intangibles of playing high school sports. When I come on the football field, it's like everyone's around my age, everyone's like my brother, we're just like a big family and the coaches do a tremendous job with like the camaraderie and kind of meshing everyone together so no one really feels isolated. You know, it's a kid that you, a student athlete that you will miss when he's gone. Um, his personality, his um, and enthusiasm is very contagious to the people around him, whether it be a coach, whether it be a player, so that'll be greatly missed. I want to be remembered, I want to have a legacy here, and you know, according to some people, I guess I left a pretty good legacy here, so. Kyle hopes to make a similar impact for the Sun Devils when he enrolls this fall. You know, I usually get up and watch the early East Coast games, you know, Clemson and those guys play and stuff like that, and just, now it'll be me playing on Saturdays, and that, that'd be the biggest thing. For Cronkite News, I'm Kendall Pope.